postal uh, ballot paper in, a, in the uh, mail the other day.
Julian Lesser in number two would go into the pile for Julian Lesser, and then her first vote would go to Julian Lesser. And if, say, for instance, it was Roger Woodward as the second in, on your one, then that would go across to Roger Woodward's pile. And after they've redistributed all those um, preferences from the first vote, uh, from the uh, lowest person, then they'd see if there was a clear winner as in somebody that had suddenly now had 50% of the vote and they'd uh, keep going through until um, yeah, until all the uh, all the preferences um, or until somebody was a clear winner um, from that so they'd go to the, after Monica 10 they'd go to the, the person with the second uh, lowest number one votes and redistribute their votes so I hope that makes sense it's um I've read that through a little bit, and uh, that uh, system, and I didn't really actually realise how it worked before I started Googling it in the last few days. So, um, Barara is in uh, Sydney, one of the electorates in Sydney, and uh, in the state of New South Wales. And uh, in New South Wales, there are... 47 seats in the House of Representatives. There's 38 in Victoria. Now there's uh, 30 in Queensland. 16 in Western Australia. 10 in South Australia. 5 in Tasmania. And uh, 3 in the ACT and 2 in the Northern Territory. And each one of these uh, electorates, like Barara, has a similar number of uh, people enrolled to vote in each of those electorates. Obviously, New South Wales has the most people living there, so it has the uh, the um, the most uh, electorates. So that's the lower house, and I think that that should add up to around about 150. 150 seats and 150 seats and and to form government then based on these parties it's usually at a liberal or labor which is somewhere labor or liberal and if usually if liberal or labor have at least 75 seats 76 seats um, they have a majority then they can form government but if it's labor that wins uh, more seats in the House of Representatives, then they can form government, and sometimes they have to, um, you know, form a government with a minority government with some of the um, the minor parties. So that's the other uh, lower house, the House of Representatives. Now the upper house is sort of like the state's house, and each state has. Uh, has uh, 12 senators and each three years we elect six six uh, senators so um yeah so even though tasmania for instance only has five house of representative seats it actually has 12 senators and uh, queensland has 12 senators western australia has 12 senators Victoria has 12 and New South Wales only gets 12 senators. Now the um, Northern Territory, because it's a territory, it gets two senators, two lower house, two upper house. And then the ACT gets also gets two, two lower house, oh, sorry, two upper house and three lower house or senators in their electorate. So I think the idea, and this is all set out in the Australian Constitution, which is around 19, Federation 1901, perhaps. Um, 1901, perhaps, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So the Senate becomes a, a sort of a state's house. So one state, because New South Wales has such a huge proportion of the votes, probably almost the, the one in three of the seats, 47 out of 100 then one state can't dominate the Senate like they can dominate the 
House of Representatives. So each state has an equal say in the Senate, and legislation usually goes through the uh, the lower house first, the House of Representatives. Yep, and then um, it's reviewed in the Senate, and uh, it's sort of got to pass both houses, be uh, voted yes for in both houses for it to. Uh, to um, be passed as a law. So this is uh, the uh, the Senate, and you've got to select six. Um, at least you've got to. Well, we're, we're trying to elect six senators, and you've got to number at least six. And obviously, if you don't number one to six, um, then it becomes an informal vote, and this uh, paper is put to one side and not counted, so what we have to do, I'll do another donkey vote, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and what happens here is you've got a number at least one to six, and you can keep going, you know, you might stop at seven, or you could keep going to ten or fifteen, whatever you like, but if you decide not to vote above the line, then you can um, vote below the line and you have to number at least 12 below the line for your vote to count. So from 1 to 12 in at least all those boxes and you could go through right to number everybody 1 to 100 if you wanted to. Um, now, I was uh, thinking that I'd explain to you how the, the preference votes work in the Senate. But um, I've read a few things and it, I was totally confused. So I thought, um, there's no, uh, um, I won't try and explain it. I think the House of Representatives was uh, hard enough. And so what I'll do now is we'll have a look at all these uh, party names and see who's uh, standing. So there's some, um, you know, it's interesting because there's probably a hundred of the, of the uh, paper, over here, 100 people that are standing, and um, only six are going to get elected. I say, you know, I guess you'd have to be a bit of an optimist um, to put your name forward. But um, anyway, nothing wrong with being a, an optimist. Um, the major parties are The major parties are Liberal and Nationals, and the Labour Party. So usually, um, it's very likely that you know the Liberals will get a senator, the uh, Labour will get a senator, perhaps the Greens will get a senator, and uh, you know maybe one or two. I'm not too sure. Australia. 
at the moment they're incumbent Scott Morrison is um, the head of that uh, party this is the uh, pirate party and um, when I first saw the uh, pirate party I thought it was uh, you know people walking around with uh, eye patches and making everybody walk the plank but it's actually to do with uh, copyright I googled it and I think
Sierra Clive Palmer's United Australia Party. That's got a uh, reasonably reasonable chance, I think, of picking up one of the Senate seats in New South Wales. But we'll just have to wait and see. The DLP, they've been around for ages. The Democratic Labor Party. Labor spelt with a U O U R. And I think um, the Democratic Labor Party was uh, formed in the poppy 1950s. I've read that um, to uh, count all the commies in the uh, Labor Party and yeah, make sure Australia stayed democratic. Climate action, immigration action and accountable politicians. Suppose the name says it all there. Animal justice. Justice for animals. Let's move this along a little bit. Ah, there we go. So the next one is the Vote of Flux Party. Upgrade democracy. Not 100% sure. Science Party is promoting science citizens electoral council. Um, yeah, I just can't think at the moment. I know I've read something about those. Sustainable Australia. Yep, yeah, obviously, uh, the name says it all now. The Australian Democrats.
saw that t-shirt, oh yeah, I remember now, the first time I saw it in it was a TV show called Houses and uh, Shazza, the mother in the show, had that, used to always wear that t-shirt, and she wore tracky tacks, Ugg boots, and that uh, t-shirt that said, um, yeah, this is Australia, we eat meat, drink beer, and speak English. Now, uh, Houses is, um, they're uh, public housing, they live in public housing, and they, they swear a lot. and those sort of things. So it's quite an entertaining show. It's a little bit similar to, um, if you haven't watched Houses, so if you watched um, Trailer Park Boys from uh, Canada, Halifax, yeah, it's sort of a similar idea. Not the same, but just similar. Anyway, that's it. So uh, out of all these people, six are going to be become the next a lot of senators. From, uh, from, uh, from Australia, uh, from, 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 sorry, from New South Wales, and they actually get elected for six years, which is two terms of government. The federal uh, government goes for three years, and if they get elected now, they stay for two terms, which is um, the senators. Now, uh, there is, uh, this is uh, in the reps, 150 seats in the Senate. 76 seats, 12 from each state, and which is 72, 6 states, 2 from Northern Territory and 2 from the ACT, Australian Capital Territory. Um, so that's about it. And in the Constitution it says that, roughly, there should be half as many Senators as House of Reps, Lower House as Upper House, for the Senate. That's set out in the Constitution. So, and so there's more, more seats created here, and then there's more senators. Um, or, yeah, vice versa. Oh no, they'd be dropped by the House of Reps. Now, um, and the one thing I'll tell you, I'll just, I'll just let you know that I'm going to rub out all these. I'll rub out all my selections here, because I just put some numbers in. To, um, put some numbers in. Just put some numbers in for the, um, for the video and I'll rub that out and I'll do my proper vote and post that away on the um, before the uh, election. It's not rubbing out too well. I'll, I'll try hard on with my rubber. Okay. So uh, I'll just move that out of the way so you can see. Australian uh, federal elections and how we vote.